The diagram shows three circles, each of radius 4 cm. The centers of the circles are A, B and C, such that A, B, C is a straight line and A, B equals B, C equals 4 cm. Work out the total area of the two shaded regions. Give your answer in terms of pi. So, it start with first to draw the line ABC. So, um, it passes through the centers of the three circles. And AB equals BC, they are the, both the radius of the circle. So, um, the next step is mark the other points of intersection, that is D and E. And now, um, yeah, we'll soon find out why I did that. The next is join EC and AD, right? And then join BE, so, and join DE, join DB. So now you have three triangles, ADB, um, as this triangle, you have triangle DBE and your triangle EBC. Now note that these three triangles are equilateral and they are all um, congruent to one another. They're all equal. The reason being they are formed by the radius. So AB equals BC, DA, EC, and they're all equal. And BE is also a radius, so is DB. So they're all equal in 4. Now DE, if you notice, if they're all equilateral, obviously the angles are 60 degrees. So angle DBE would also be 60 degrees. And that means the angle BDE and angle BED would also be 60 degrees. So these three triangles are all congruent, all side lengths 4 centimeter. We will be using that um, thing to um, to really work out the answers, answer to um, the area of the shaded parts. So the next step is now triangle DAB, as I explained, is equal to angle EBC. All sides are the radii. They are all then uh, triangle D uh, um, um, triangle DBE is also equilateral. Right, and now we come to finding the sectors and the area of the sectors. So, first we work out the area of the sector EBC or ECB, and that would be 60 divided by 360 times pi times 4 square, which is a radius, and that gives you 8 out of 3 pi. And then we need to find the area of triangle ABC because what we found out 8 out of 3 pi is this part the whole part this is 8 out of 3 pi and if we subtract the area of the equilateral triangle what we will be getting is this part the segment the tiny segment here and you see this part the green shaded part that I'm shading now the segment is equal to this so they are equal, right? So the next thing, area of the segment EB would be 8 third pi minus 4 root 3. And then area of the segment DB would also be equal. Uh, that would be 8 third pi minus 4 root 3. Uh, yeah. That's right, yeah, I got that right. So then what I do is I find out the area of the sector. Uh, no, I don't find the area of the sector. So then um, you work out the area of the sector DBE because we now, we now know these two parts, the um, area of these two parts. So all that is left to do is to find out this whole part, this whole, sorry, this whole sector and area of this sector and then subtract the green bits. If you subtract the green bits from there, you should get the area of, of uh, one shaded part. And then if you multiply it by two, you would get the area of both the shaded parts. So the area of the sector 
DBE, as I said, explain the area of the sectors are equal to the others. So therefore, it's a third pi as well. So the shaded part would be twice, because this is one and this is the other. So it'd be twice of a third pi, the entire thing, DBE sec um, areas of the sector, and minus twice of this, because there are two of these parts. So minus twice of this. And then if we simplify that, we get area of the shaded part equals twice of a third pi minus, you're multiplying this bit out, that's 16 out of 3 pi, and minus twice of 4 root 3. So that would give you 8 root 3. And that equals twice of 8 root 3 minus 8 third pi and that equals 16 root 3 minus 16 out of 3 pi centimeter square and that's the answer.